We made it back. Sun's just going down. Brent's just watering his beers. <laughs> I've had a couple of bananas burst on me beer, so I've got to wash them off. <laughs> He's just hoping those middies grow up big and strong to full strength one day. <laughs> Aren't you glad you're hanging out with me? <laughs> Let's go. Welcome back, guys. Another episode of The Explore Life. If you've just joined us, my name's Matt. Traveling around Australia in my 79 series with the trusty 14-foot vision on the back. Now, look, get excited because on this episode, we're up nice and early this morning and we're on. We're heading out to Steep Point, the most western point of WA. This is a bucket list item. So keen to get out there. We're with the Tox. We've got a beautiful family traveling with us. It's going to be one hell of an episode, guys. If you have just joined us, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe. We really do appreciate it. Let's get into it. Well, we're into it. I just, um, we both just let some air out of the tyres. Always a good idea to do that on corrugations. Um, just takes some of that impact out of your suspension. But, what a day. Let's see how bad these corrugations get. I hate corrugations, but it's just a part of uh, remote traveling. So, lucky the big 79's actually pretty bloody comfy. The J-Max with the coil rear. Um, but I'll tell you what, one of the best things has got to be the airbags. I can sort of adjust them. I'm having a feeling that this is one of those spots that I'm gonna wish I had brought the camper and come and spent uh, a few days out here. But the plan was come have a look, do steep point. So that's Dirk, Hart Dirk Hartog uh, over there. And um, on the back side of that other island is Monkey Mire. So there's a national park on this side. And I was gonna put the tinny in and run across to Dirk Hartog in the tinny. That's the plan because it was like $700 uh, and you had to book the barge. I think it's, it's been fully booked for a while now and I had no idea when I was gonna be up here. So 700 bucks or I can just camp on this side, run across in the tinny and just explore this whole little bay in the tinny. So don't stress, we will definitely be getting the tinny in the water. We're just gonna um, go camp up there. Probably, maybe not tonight, but probably tomorrow night we'll be up there. This spot is magic. This is the west coast I was chasing. Most western league point of the uh, mainland Australia. That's the last one. That's all four. Yeah. 
sitting right on the edge. The most westerly point in WA. Stoked, absolutely stoked. This WA coastline is shaping up to be exactly what I thought it was gonna be. It is just absolutely gorgeous. The colors, the blues. Uh, I can't wait to go around camp, get the tinny in and run across. Hopefully this isn't too windy. <laughs> yeah, baby. All right, well, you might be able to just see that in the GoPro. Just, you'll see a little yellow ball and a little red ball. Well, the crew down here are camped on these cliffs. <laughs> and they're camped on these cliffs here. They got big balloons that they fill full of helium. They cast out, their line runs out, and then they've got a vertical line off that line to a helium balloon. And I'm guessing they got pillies or bait on the end of it. And it gets, it, the, the balloon blows in the wind and blows the, um, the pilly on top of the water. And they're getting smashed by mackerel and all sorts up there. Um, just, I just went over and had a look. I should have taken the GoPro, I, I know. But um, they, they just pulled in probably 1,200 mackerel and about 400 of that. <laughs> was bitten off by a shark. There was uh, two, two, probably two, two and a bit meter sharks swimming around. Never seen that before. I thought that was very bloody cool. The old big ass helium balloon up in the air yes yeah, it's wild let me know in the comments if you've uh, done that sort of fishing before did i describe it right probably not The downside to having to drive all the way out here is having to drive back. Oh, I'm actually not looking forward to this at all. The corrugation sucked. So, my advice would be if you're going to come out here, definitely camp. Um, definitely, definitely camp. Bring your look, even if you've got a, a trailer or a a tinny you can see i'm already getting shaken to pieces it's um it's worth bringing it out might be a slow old journey out here so you don't shake everything to pieces but um this place is epic absolutely gutted i didn't bring the whole van and shoot much out here but that's all right we're only staying just on that other side of the bay so section of road probably probably some of the worst corrugations I've ever driven on there was a stretch it was about 7k and it was bad real bad but we made it we're back on the blacktop um, we've got probably another 20 minutes or so what's time 4:30. we'll probably be back around yeah 20 30 minutes Around five o'clock, kick back the afternoon. The way this sky is, I reckon the sunset will be even better than it was yesterday. What an absolutely mammoth day. So worth it, loved it. Absolutely loved every bit of it. Steep point, tick, absolute must. Put it on your bucket list, get your ass out there, go check it out. Now, I just wanna get back, wake up, get out to the national park and get the tinny in the water. <laughs> okay. We made it back, sun's just going down. Brent's just watering his beers. <laughs> I've had a couple of bananas burst on me beer, so I've got to wash them off. <laughs> He's just hoping those middies grow up big and strong to full strength one day. <laughs> 
Oh, another beautiful day. We're just packing up here down at the station. The vision's on. The talks are just getting theirs sorted. Where are we going today? Ah, uh, Big Lagoon, I think. Big Lagoon. Lagoon. If we can get a camp spot, that's that's the aim. No, uh, we will. We will. We'll get one. See, that's the attitude. That's what we want. We're going to sneak in, pull right up on the beach. Apparently it's like this beautiful red dirt straight into the ocean, this blue ocean. It looks absolutely incredible. So fingers crossed we can get a spot. What's the name of the main town we're going to stop at? Denham. Denham. We're going to stop at Denham. A little bit of a refuel. We have to make sure we get fuel for the boats. I need to fill my jerry up. Let's do it. All right, guys, we're getting closer to... Um, Denham at the moment. I think we're just about to pull into the town of Denham. Let me give you a little bit of a look at a map here. This is a big map. This is a good opportunity to show you guys where we are and what's going on. So, Hamelin Station, that's where we were. Uh, that's where we camped. We ran all the way out here, uh, across, and then up to Steep Point, which is right up the top here. That says uh, Sanctuary Zone, but that is Steep Point. Yeah, there it is there, Steep Point. So this was the crazy corrugated bit of road that we ran on. Then we come back down, and at the moment we're gonna run up here and try and get out to this spot here, Big Lagoon, right up the top. See how we go. We'll stop in Denham, do a bit of a stock up, and then um, we will also probably, I'll probably go check out Monkey Mire. Let's go, we've just entered the National Park. We just went past a uh, little lagoon back there. It looked absolutely stunning. Today is mint, mint, not a cloud in the sky. So we're on the, we're on the uh, dirt again now. We're heading out to the big lagoon. Fingers crossed we can find a campsite there. Um, if we can't, we'll just push further north. There's a few further up, but Big Lagoon is the one we want because it's the shortest run over to um, Dirk Hartog. Well, we got some bad news. The Big Lagoon campsite is full, which is, I'm not gonna lie, that's absolutely devastating. But there's three other camps further up. Uh, they sort of recommend high, high clearance, full drives only, and um, big. they don't recommend big caravans, but we'll have a crack. We can only have a crack, that's all we can do. So let's, let's, uh, let's have a go. Time to air down. We got uh, about 20, 20 odd k to this first site. Let's see how we go. Into flight to the rescue. All right, we're into it. Corrugations, one way track with the vans. Bit of an adventure. I hate corrugations. But uh, the little the little van toes are like a bloody dream on these corrugations, to be honest. I think the airbag suspension uh, combined with just dropping that tire pressure, it barely looks like it's even, even shaking, to be honest with you. So far, so good. When towing a van, um, I'm no expert. I'm, I'm learning all of this as I sort of go along. But obviously, you drop the speed down a lot. <laughs> I'd probably be going oh, across this normally. I'd probably be cruising at 40, 50, 60 in some areas. At the moment, I'm on 20k an hour, right? So you drop it down when there's the big bumpy spots. I've got to keep bloody remembering I do have a van. I haven't really found the sweet spot on corrugations yet, not sure. These trucks are sandy and so when you go slow, you can get away with um, just going slow and not rattling it to shit. When I get out onto some more long stretches of corrugations, I'll probably have to do the same thing and just get that speed up. Uh, let me know in the comments, any van guys that have traveled around with a lot with vans. Obviously, knock tire pressure out a little bit, but um, 
I think even on those longer stretches, you'll still have to get the speed up, so you're sort of skimming along on top. The big 35 inch tyres make a big difference on the van, it stops um, lots and lots of that bounce, the right tyre pressure, and then of course I'm running the airbag, so so far honestly this thing sits magic so this is the plan we were going to go to um south gregory's but um old mate in the ranger said it's pretty full uh, and he sort of recommended that we head out to herald Pike, closer to the mainland uh, which is basically just up from monkey mire so that's pretty cool that's the famous spot monkey mire so this little bay looks like it could be an absolute cracker and he reckons we'll, we'll, we'll definitely get in with the vans, which is cool, just one soft spot. So that's where we're going. So I feel like this may be a bit of a stitch up. This is this is where we're at. Now I'm not bogged yet. I've got to let a more pressure out of the van tires because they seem to just be uh, dragging. But I'm not bogged. But have a look at these this sight. Like that's it. Just this soft. This there's, there's not even anyone camped out here. Like no one, one car, the car that rushed me to get onto the beach, he's up there, he tried to do a Yui, he's bogged, and it's just a single cab Land Cruiser, and we got bloody caravans, old mate's got a, a ginormous van, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to unhook the van here, I'm going to go for a bit of a drive, see if, um, even if we do get down onto this beach, mate, this beach is soft and just chewed to hell. See if there is any spots maybe further up, you know, something flat. There's not even anything flat, no hard flat areas anyway. So, and then it, while I'm unhooked, if I have to, I can go and um, give the other crew a hand. Anyway, this is what it's all about. Duck is not a bloody missing. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Tox tackles down. <laughs> what did dad do? Did he get... <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Here's the update. The only spot that was any good, the bloke that rushed me to get on the beach, he's parked right in the middle of the only spot we could fit our two vans. There's a whole beach and we're like, oh mate, this is probably the only spot we fit. Oh well, you know, that sucks, doesn't it? So I picked my van up, currently bogged. So Max tracks to the rescue. Should be okay to do a Yui. Once I get going, I should be all right. Max tracks to the win again, eh? what you don't do and that was scary as too. <laughs> I had nowhere else to go, the turning circle on this thing it just didn't do it but we're out. Alright we're so close to getting off the beach but just went down one last time so max tracks again, let's go. Yeah baby, max tracks. Four max tracks. Just started to sink and then the back wheels hit the front ones and away we go. Geez, I revved the absolute piss out of the old girl. Sorry, darling. Aren't you glad you're hanging out with me? <laughs> I'm losing friends rapidly at the moment. All right, well, we're out. We're back on the road out. If I can get any reception, we're going to get onto Monkey Mire. These guys are a little bit worried about um, heading up and getting bogged further up and that's fair enough 
they got three kids in the car um, so you know I want to make sure I do the right thing by them as well so we'll see if we can get on to Monkey Mire if we can't we're gonna have a crack at South Gregory and fingers crossed there's actual campsites which I feel like there is and that's why everyone went there whereas down there there was absolutely nothing one person on the whole beach and he took the only good spot it's all part of the adventure sorry tox <laughs> Well, it's all going on now. Have a look at the uh, the crowd. Everyone's stopped for beers. How good is this? Yeah. Like it was only like the first 150 k's was fine. And yeah. there was like 7 k where it was. So a few few people that we've met before are coming back from the uh, the Cape, they call it up the top here. And uh, we just pulled up for a bit of lunch. I just made a couple of Sambos, but now everyone's just stopped having a few beers, having a yarn, and I think they're gonna sneak us in on their campsites tonight. So we'll just squeeze in and share at that big lagoon, the place we wanted to go to the whole time. So it could work out perfect. Anyway, I'm going to go have a beer. We've unhitched the vans and we're running up to the uh, Cape. The Cape of this national park. Apparently it's spectacular, beautiful um, red cliffs and lots of fish in the water along with sharks chasing the fish, stingrays. So it sounds absolutely epic. So we've decided to dump the vans, run up, have a bit of a look. I mean, I'm pretty excited to be honest. I, uh, as soon as they said the sharks chasing fish, I was like, let's go. So, back north, here we go. slowly getting there in the background unfortunately we lucked out no well we seen a little reef shark a little reefy little black tip but um no fish i think they were pretty lucky today they, the girl, they must have seen all the fish and sharks did they yeah scared them away on us oh well that's right still absolutely beautiful here with the sun going down on these red cliffs what a spot i'll tell you what i absolutely love driving at this time in the afternoon You've got that big burnt orange ball of fire just slowly dropping behind the sand dunes here. And all those pinks and yellows are slowly starting to blend into the blue sky. Absolutely stunning. Love driving as the sun's going down. And we're back. We're back to the vans. <whistles> G'day, Vision. Well, we'll make a decision. We either just camp here because it's absolutely beautiful and just watch these colors come alive, or we make the big run back down and squeeze it on someone else's campsite. We'll chat to the troops, and figure out what we're gonna do. <laughs> Send help. Right, we got some good news. Um, friends of ours spoke to the caretaker and there's a couple of sites for us to squeeze in. And then two people are leaving tomorrow, right next to each other. So, uh, looks like we're on here. We're stoked. So, we'll follow these colors all the way home. We made it. Yeah. It's time for a cold can. Yeah. Cook dinner. And that's it. We made it. Yeah. <laughs> See you in the morning. 
So, big lagoon campsite. We pulled up in the uh, rest area last night. Um, and we're going over to get a campsite this morning. But we've sort of been slacking a little bit. It was so nice over there and warm in the sun that we had a coffee. And we may have missed out on our campsites. Jeez, I hope not. So we're on our way over there now. Um, fingers crossed. I didn't think... It's, it's, uh, it's about 10 to 8. So... I didn't think too many people would be up and gone before eight. We'll get in there now, see if we can get a spot. It is another beautiful day. I like it up here. It's just full blue skies. So, by the way, new, all the gear, long sleeve in the black. First time I've got it. I'm so stoked. We had these in the t-shirts. It's my favorite shirt. I wear it all the time. So pretty, pretty stoked to have the uh, long sleeve tee for these early mornings. We're in. This is the site. Absolutely beautiful. And then if you uh, wander down here, you got these nice little uh, pontoons. Let's go for a morning jog. Check this out. All right, so I'm gonna get the folding trailer off the back, set it up, drop the tinny off, and then I can set my caravan up, and then I'll be able to just drive the tinny around, drop it in the water, and that'll make it easy to get on and off. I haven't set the trailer up yet, so it should be a bit of fun. set up here it is here's the little tour right got the van out this is a this is my seat this is one for all my mates or lack thereof so the van set up and i've just got the boat set up i managed to do the whole thing by myself sort of set the trailer up lower it off the van by myself put the motor on we are set we are on i am that bloody pumped they're just set the the tox are just setting up over there and we're getting these in the water so in saying that that's the end of this episode guys uh, make sure you tune in next week to find out how we go if we manage to get out there and catch any fish squid cray if you have enjoyed these episodes guys uh, make sure you like um, please subscribe we really do appreciate it merch is online we'll link it below till next time guys till next week make sure you guys get out and enjoy the explore life thanks for watching